Hey there, dear viewers, this is Joey, back again with another marvelous video. When it comes to the villains of DC Comics, Darkseid is considered to be the epitome. He is a new god with physical strength equivalent to Superman and various other powers, like immortality, regeneration, chronokinesis, etc. Along with such a wide array of abilities, Darkseid possesses the unique ability to discharge high temperature rays from his eyes, known as Omega Rays or Omega Beams. The beams are one of the most effective strengths of Darkseid. As mentioned by him, these beams are hotter than the fiery pits of Apocalypse and are target specific. Once locked onto someone or something, they stop only after disintegrating it and are nearly impossible to dodge. So without any further delay, let us dive into today's video, where we will be exploring the secret origin of Darkseid's Omega Beams. The Secret Origin of Darkseid's Omega Beam According to Jack Kirby's Fourth World comic series, which was published from 1997 to 1998, showcased the formation of the new gods along with the transition of Prince Euxus into Darkseid. Prince Euxus was born to King Yuga Khan and Queen Hegera, along with his elder brother Drax. As the two grew up, they became powerful warriors, with Drax surpassing Euxus in success in battle. However, Drax began growing more compassionate, something which was highly despised by Queen Hegera. Euxus, however, succumbed to tyranny and earned himself in the good books of his mother. Drax eventually became friends with Isaiah, the new god from New Genesis, and worked out plans for preserving peace. The process primarily included Drax claiming the throne of Apocalypse for himself, for which he sought to claim the Omega Force. With a special suit made by Desaad, Drax set out to expose himself to the Omega Force to check if he could control it. As he delved into the Infinity Pit to harness the Omega Force, Desaad and Darkseid revealed their plans. The suit that was given to him was not designed for his help, but rather to boil him in the Omega Force energy. Surprisingly, Euxus also leapt into the pit to claim the Omega Force for himself instead of saving his brother. He absorbed the Omega Force and gained control of the Omega Effect and the associated Omega Beams. The entire incident was depicted in Jack Kirby's Fourth World Issue 5. Queen Hagara was happy to find Drax dead and Euxus becoming the wielder of the Omega Force. Euxus changed his name to Darkseid and since then became the ruler of Apocalypse. In another universe, following the New 52 origin, Darkseid's origin hinted the Omega Force to be a power of the old gods that he had stolen. In Greg Pak's Justice League Volume 2, Issue 23.1, Euxus was a mortal farmer living in a world where the gods were giants who never cared about the mortals. The gods barely noticed mortals being crushed under their enormous size and would often decimate thousands of mortals just by being careless and carefree. One such mortal mud grubber was Euxus, and he hated the gods. He slowly developed a flair for watching things die while his sister Avaya and brother-in-law, Isaiah, believed in the gods and prayed for them. Once, the gods walked off to their residence while Avaya prayed desperately, they crushed their hovel and left. Isaiah was happy that his wife's prayer saved them, but Euxus barely cared. He then went up to the top of a mountain where the gods slept, and Euxus whispered in their ears while they were sleeping. He corrupted the minds of the gods by planting doubts in them against each other, and soon the gods went into a catastrophe against each other. One of the gods fell and requested Euxus for prayer, as that was what they fed on. Euxus used the opportunity, and instead of saving God for anything he wished, he killed him. He went on to kill another and soon all gods were killed by him. Euxus drained the powers of the gods and became Darkseid with glowing eyes and Omega Beams. What makes Darkseid's Omega Beams so deadly? Darkseid's Omega Beams are his ultimate weapon, and it has the capability of doing many things. It can enact the Omega Effect and the Omega Sanction. If Darkseid wants to utilize the Omega Sanction, he launches the beams, which upon contact with its target would trap the prey and an endless number of lives, each ending with death. Two characters who have escaped the Omega Sanction were Batman and Shiloh Norman, aka Mr. Miracle. The Omega Effect is more like incapacitating or killing a target via the beam. The Omega Beams are powerful and fast enough to keep up with a speedster. The 2014 animated movie Justice League War showcased Superman getting struck by the beams while it almost caught Flash, but failed as the speedster made it pass through a horde of fair demons. Darkseid's Omega Beams could kill someone and resurrect them at his whims, establishing it as a method of torture for his subjects, whom he could find a use for later. The Omega Beams reached new levels in 2021's Infinite Frontier Issue 6. Written by Joshua Williamson, the miniseries showcased an upgrade for Darkseid's Omega Beams. The Omega Beams were black in color, and Darkseid decimated every superhero on Earth in one shot. He reached his ultimate form, where he was no longer interested in the anti-life equation, but wanted to make a crack in the multiverse wall to obtain the power on the other end. 
this verdict. We have finally come to the end of the video, and we believe it helped you understand Darkseid's Omega Effect. In the Deceased Saga, an infected Darkseid, wielding a yellow lantern ring, was shown emitting yellow-colored Omega Beams. Although fans could infer it to be fueled by the yellow lantern's power, not much explanation has been provided by Tom Taylor. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone.